Please state your first name, age, and current city of residence. My name is Fred. I'm 80 years old, and I live in Berthoud, Colorado. How long have you lived in your current residence? Uh, since last August of 2022. And where did you live before that? In Longmont. And how long have you lived in Colorado? About 40 years. Where were you born, and where else have you lived? I was born in Rochester, New York, and I've lived in numerous places in California and in Illinois. Can you tell me about a hobby or interest you have had over the years? Uh, most of my life I've been a model roaring fan. Um, can you tell us more about what that is? Uh, I've uh, built a number of model train layouts over the years and uh, I'm currently uh, building one in my basement in Berthoud. And how many different layouts have you created? I think it's six. And how, are they large or small? They would be categorized by uh, model railroaders as a uh, medium size. And are they a particular, are the trains a particular size? Yes, I, uh, I model in N scale, which is one 160th of uh, reality. What do you enjoy most about creating the layouts? Actually, I like all of the disciplines a, a little bit. I'm not terribly good at them, but uh, uh, I like the carpentry. Uh, uh, I like uh, uh, building model buildings and uh, uh, track, uh, scenery, mountains, such like that. Is there a particular place that you like your layouts to portray? Uh, right here in the state, I usually um, have something like the Rocky Mountains uh, uh, in the layout. Where did this interest come from? Uh, my dad was a real train enthusiast. Uh, he uh, worked on railroads, not for the railroad, he worked for the railway mail service, but um, uh, he loved trains uh, his whole life and it uh, passed on to me. From its beginnings during the Civil War until its slow decline after World War II, the core of America's postal system was the Railway Mail Service. Previously, mail had been carried in locked pouches aboard trains and then sorted at their destination. Under the new system, mail was sorted en route while the train moved between two points. The idea proved successful and a large portion of the nation's mail was sorted while being carried on the rail lines. As highway mail transportation became more prevalent, the railway mail service was gradually discontinued, with all service officially terminated in 1977. And it's our understanding that you'd like to read from your father's autobiography? Yes. After taking a test for a civil service appointment, I was appointed to the Railway Mail Service of the U.S. Post Office in August 1941. In the same month, my draft board called me. Terry, that's his wife, knew one of the members of the draft board, and the members suggested that if we married and had kids, I would not be drafted that winter. We decided to marry on January 10th, 1942, but Pearl Harbor pushed the date up to December 27th, 1941. I was officially drafted for the war in 1943. At that time, the U.S. Marine Corps was in need of mail clerks. A U.S. Marine Corps sergeant followed me through the whole induction right and guaranteed me that I would be a mail clerk in the Corps. I served without injury in Okinawa 
Japan until my release from the, from the service soon after the war ended. In 1948, I became a regular clerk in the railway mail service, and I was given a run from Detroit to Buffalo. I worked five days a week and received the next nine days off. The train left at 9 p.m. and we arrived in Buffalo at about 2 a.m. We left Buffalo at 3.30 a.m. and arrived in Detroit at 8.30 a.m. We did this Sunday to Friday. I did this until 1950 when an opening occurred on a local from Rochester, New York, which was called the Old Road. Thank you. How did he share his involvement with trains with you? Uh, the first remembrance I have is that the home we lived in in Rochester, Rochester excuse me, had um, uh, an enclosed front porch, and in that room, uh, he built a model railroad uh, layout for me, uh, complete with towns, uh, uh, old train layout, and uh, I became a, a fan right from then. Did you guys ever go anywhere to watch the trains? Yeah, there's one particular memory I have. Uh, there was a, um, a, a highway overpass over the main line of the New York Central outside of Rochester. And at that time, the New York Central had um, uh, a four track main line. This would have been in the late 1940s. And we'd go there and park the car and uh, just watch the trains go by, which was very frequent. What do you hope others will learn from your story? Well, I'd like to, uh, to see the interest in railroading uh, continued in this country. It's been a big part of our, our history and um, um, outside of the, the, the recent uh, negative news, uh, it, it's, uh, it's an important part of our economy, although probably a shrinking part of our uh, of the importance in our economy uh, in the future, but uh, I'd still like to see uh, railroads uh, remembered, understood, uh, uh, and admired. Anything else you would like to share? Um, the um, the hobby is a lot of fun. It uh, uses a lot of different skills, and um, uh, I've en I've enjoyed it for. Um, no, probably for 70, 75 years. Great. Well, thank you for your time today. Thank you.